is Thaddeus from Going Nerdy, and I've been kind of thinking about the Mandalorian content and what it looks like, what it could be. If this is a legendary event, then what we are going to see is we're going to see a, a series of characters that they're going to choose for us to say, use these guys. Ewoks, we needed for the C-3PO event. Bounty Hunters were needed for the Chewbacca event, right? So it's it's a section that makes sense for the character. When it comes to the legendary event that could be the Mandalorian, right? This this new character that Din Djarin, very excited for to see what he looks like. Um, but when we look at this character, I kind of think like, why? Not why in the sense that why are you giving them to us, but why would he be a legendary character? Din Djarin is, the whole Mandalorian story, is a hero's journey, which I freaking love. And and I won't get into like the hero's journey uh, here, although I could, because it is definitely one of my favorite things in the world. Um, but it would make more sense for this to be a hero's journey. As it stands, there's only really two factions that could be needed for a legendary event if we need Din Jar. Okay? Which, I mean, excited for. I mean, again, really, really excited for. I think it's very likely that we are going to need the Jawas to get to unlock him. If Again, if you look at the, the other events in the past, uh, again, you've had an entire faction to unlock Thrawn, you did the entirety of the Phoenix team. Here's the thing, though. Jawas didn't fight against Din Djarin. They, they got murdered by him. What did the Jawas do? They took apart his ship. So, this is what I actually see. Instead of us fighting against certain things, uh, or certain characters, I could totally, and this I think would be a very novel idea, um, I could see them having us use our Jawas to dismantle his ship while Din Djarin is trying to disintegrate us, right? That would make the most sense because that's how the scene actually plays out. Because other than that, the only other, the only other like faction as a whole that we could see a legendary event, you know, Mandalorian style event would be uh, Imperial Troopers. But that doesn't make sense because he took like he was in the fight of the Imperial Troopers. He fought against them. And so why would you fight? I, I, it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I, I just don't see that as rational. I don't see that as reasonable. And so I've just got to think that this is a, a, a legendary event. And instead of fighting Din Djarin, we're going to be dismantling a ship. Very much like that, you know, special bonus round in Street Fighter 2 where you were, like, fighting the car against the clock. Same concept, but, you know, this time it'll be his ship. And if you run out of time, you still go on to the next level, but in this, if you run out of time, you'll be disintegrated. Pew! 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 Um, just throwing that out there. Now... We could also see a Jawa rework because I played around with the Jawas a lot in in the uh, when I had my test account, and they suck. The Jawas were one of the first factions that I got to Relic Seven, and they were not good. They just weren't. Even with with decent mods, they still pretty much sucked. I tried to have a Relic Seven Jawa go up against the heroic tank which they get a bonus for, and they could not make it through phase one. That's insane. That is absolutely insane. And so I, I could totally see a job of rework coming. But again, depending on how we need the Jawas, 
they may not do it that way. Instead of reworking an entirety of code, they may simply just say, get him to a certain level, take apart the ship. There you go. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. Uh, I am actually going to be gearing up my Jawas right now simply because uh, they're pretty good in the GAC. Uh, you know, one of those like, hey, I'm going to throw a bunch of bombs on you as the rest of my team gets destroyed. I want them to be gear 12 for that, you know, and then I'm going to throw in some tight mods and I'm going to forget about them. Right? And that's kind of how I'm going to play that. But I don't necessarily think that this is going to be anything but a legendary event. I do think that we're going to Jawas, and I don't necessarily think that they're going to get the rework that they probably need to be Mandalorians. However, and I would start gearing them up to at least gear 10. Uh, typically with our legendary events in the past, we have had to have them at least gear 10. You've, we've seen people do these legendary events with gear 8, gear 9, and, and periodically a few others. But I do think that what we're going to be seeing is... I do think that it's a wise move to get them to gear 10, if not higher. I'm going to gear 12 simply because I'm almost there anyways. But what do you guys think? Do you think we're going to be needing the Jawas? Do you think that we are going to be getting Din Djarin, the Mandalorian, in the form of a legendary event? Or are we going to get him in the form of a hero's journey? It makes more sense for me to me to, to see him as a hero's journey, just based on the story. Based on the game... I think legendary event for sure. But let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment in this section below. In this section below, I have a, a link for two free audiobooks if you try Audible for one month. And it's a great it's a great way to pass the time, especially if you're in quarantine. Um, it's a great way to pass the time and, and really get caught up in a lot of these Star Wars lore that's out there. Right now, I'm listening to Ahsoka. I read the book once before, but now that Star Wars, the, the Siege of Mandalore is coming around, I'm going to try to listen to it again so I can get a little more background, you know, kind of familiar with her after the Siege of Mandalore. But but it's it's a great opportunity. Plus, you not only do you get your two free audiobooks, you also get uh, these like Audible originals. They're really good. It's typically like uh, $15, but this is free for one month. You get essentially two books plus the two audio, or audio originals and a bunch of other stuff. Guys, I think it's great. If you are a reader, if you travel, if you're just needing some time away from reality. This is a great opportunity. Uh, you can also support the channel directly in the links below. Let me know what you guys think. Legendary event, hero's journey, am I way off the mark? Let me know. Like, subscribe, share. This has been Thaddeus from Going Nerdy. And as always, my friends, smile and stay nerdy.